you'll end up with the same, same construction. So let's start off with the side that has just the one construction. It says constructing a line parallel. So we're in section um, 3.6. Uh, parallel and perpendicular construction. All right, let's stop talking, guys. So the first one is called, uh, we want to construct a line parallel to a given line through a point. So our picture looks like this. Uh, let me get a line here. So we have a line and we have a point here. First, my first question before we do the construction, how do we know we can even make a parallel line through this point? <laughs> what we did yesterday, what, what was our what was our big thing from yesterday? A parallel postulate. A parallel postulate guarantees us that we can construct a line through this point that's parallel to this line. All right, so the, the, ins the instructions on the sheet will walk you through this. I'm going to shorten them a little bit while I to write this down. First thing we want to do is draw an angle. So I'm going to start at any point on this line. I don't want it to be right under that point. And I'm going to draw an angle. Doesn't matter where it is. I'm just going to draw an angle that goes through this point. And then our second step, I'm going to copy the angle. I'm going to take this angle and copy it right up here. We've done the copy and angle construction before, so let's walk through it. I'm going to take my compass and set the point right on the vertex of the angle. And then through the angle, I'm going to make any arc. doesn't matter how big it is. So I'm just going to make an arc. doesn't matter how big it is. Now I'm going to go up to the point here that we're interested in and draw the same arc. So my arc goes from the vertex, I just picked an arc, and then I came over here and drew the same arc. So that's my first step for copying an angle. Now I take my compass and I set it down here on the arc. I'm going to change my color. And I open the compass exactly as far across as the angle. And now I'm going to take my compass and set it up here where this arc crosses the angle and draw another arc. And now, guys, now I'm going to draw a little point there where they cross and I'm going to connect this point that I'm interested in to the point there that I drew. And if I do my construction perfectly, I get a parallel, a parallel line. So let's talk for a second about why this works. Here are two lines. Here is a transversal. What kind of angles are these? One's between the lines. One's outside. Corresponding angles. 
we copied this angle up here, so the corresponding angles are congruent. If corresponding angles are congruent, what does that tell us about the lines? They're parallel. We've constructed congruent corresponding angles. That guarantees us that our lines are parallel. Yes? This one? Um, it just gives us, uh, so we want an arc. That's essentially what we're doing. Essentially what we're doing. We just want it to be the same spot on the other angle. So that, that just makes sure that we're doing, this, it, doing it in the same spot on the other angle. All right, so let's walk through that one again. So here's my line, here's my point. The first thing I'm going to do is draw an angle. Put my compass, now I'm going to copy the angle, I'll put my compass on the vertex of the angle I want to copy, and make an arc. This one sometimes automatically makes a circle. And that's okay. And that's okay. <laughs> Take it up here and make the same arc across there. Now we're going to open our compass exactly across the angle here from where the arcs cross. Open it up the same distance. And then take my compass up here. Put it there on where the arc crosses that line. Make that mark. And then here's my point. And if I draw my line through there like so, there's my parallel line. All right, questions on that construction? All right, let's, let's stay quiet, please. Let me show you another one that I thought up this morning. I was trying to figure out one that Miss Bravo showed me, and I thought this one up. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is, one, I'm just going to draw a point here and draw another point over here. So this one we're given. Now I'm going to take my compass and open it up from this point to that point and move the compass over here and make an arc. Now I'm going to take the compass and open it up from that point to that point, bring it up here and make an arc. Oops. And now I can connect this with that, and I have a parallel line. And if I connect these two, what I've done is construct a parallelogram. <laughs> All right. So this is what I thought of, another way of constructing a parallel line that I thought of. This is where you end up with two sets of parallel lines. These two are parallel and these two are parallel. All right. Next construction on the other side of your note sheet. So now we're going to construct, guys, perpendicular. Uh, through a point not on the line. On the note sheet they call this dropping a perpendicular. I'm going to call it the smiley face. Wait, is this, is this dropping that perpendicular? Yes. All right, so what we want to do we have a line and a point not on the line, and we want to draw a perpendicular segment through this point. Perpendicular, what does perpendicular mean? The same. Um, it's like the, the line and the other line. Like oh. No, that means that's parallel. Oh. 
What? So it's T, T shape? There we go, 90 degree angle. Perpendicular means 90 degree angle. All right, so we're going to call this our smiley face construction. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is make our smiley face. So you put your compass on the point and open it up past the line. Does it matter where? Doesn't matter where, as long as it's past the line. And then we're going to make our smiley face. There's our smiley face. We're not done yet. But this is the smiley face. And now I have a segment made between the, the corners of the smiley face. I'm going to bisect that segment. So bisect the segment is one that we learned before. Split it in half. Open it up past the halfway point of your segment. Make an arc. Go to the other side of your segment. Make the same arc. And now I'm going to connect. Oh wow, yeah. So basically all we have to do is yeah. bisect that line. Bisect the segment made by the smiley face. <laughs> and then connect the little cross to the point. And that gives me a perpendicular segment. All right, so let's go through that one again. All right, first step. First step. Let's make our smiley face. Open up your compass more than half, more than you want it further than the further than the line. Make your smiley face. So there's my smiley face. Now I'm going to bisect folks. Let's stop the chatter, please. We're going to bisect this segment. So from the corners of the smile there. Um, open your compass up more than halfway across that segment. We're going to make an arc. And I only have to make the arc below because I already have a point above. Move our compass to the other side. Make that arc that crosses. And then we're going to connect this dot to where those two cross. How do we make the arc? You just take your compass. And I'm going to move it to the, so I made this, I made that arc. I just move this to the other side of the segment and make the same arc. All right. Then we connect this dot with that cross. Like so. And there's my perpendicular through the point that's not on the line. Our smiley face construction. All right, questions on that construction? All right, last one. Uh, perpendicular through a point on the line. Yes, we can do the first one again. All right, so on your note sheet, they call this one uh, erecting a perpendicular. So we're setting, we're sending a perpendicular up from the point. We're go I'm going to call it the bow tie. <laughs> All right, so here's our point, or sorry, here's our line. Here's our point. All right, to make our bow tie. All right, guys. Set my point on the on the set the point of the compass on the point anywhere. Uh, doesn't matter. 
I'm going to make a little arc here. There's one side of my bow tie. And then I'm going to keep the compass exactly where it was and move it over to the other side. And this sometimes automatically makes a circle. So let me try to get it so it doesn't automatically make a circle. There we go. And there's my bow tie. So I have a bow tie. So I just, I, what I did was I had the compass set here. I made an arc. I brought the compass around. <laughs> Um, so I made this arc and then I set the point there and I'm going to make the same arc over on the other side. And now I'm going to bisect this segment. Set the point on the one end of the segment, open the compass more than halfway, make an arc, go to the other side of the segment, make the same arc. And then I connect those two where they cross. And there is my perpendicular segment through the point. So like you don't really have to do both the tie. So the bow tie well the well the, so you're gonna be given this point. So the bow tie makes sure that this goes right through the right through that point right right so the the what we did with the bow tie is make sure that this point is right in the middle of that bow tie all right so let's step through that one again here is my line here's my point so I'm going to make my bow tie there's one side of my bow tie and here's the other side of my bow tie. So there's my bow tie. Now I'm going to bisect that segment. Open my compass more than halfway. Draw an arc. Come around to the other side. Draw the same arc. And then I'm going to connect where those cross. You just did the same Yeah, I just, re I just repeated so people could see it a second. Uh, what, what the other one, our point was not on the line, it was up here. So the smiley face made sure that that would go right through the point that's above the line. Here the bow tie makes sure it goes right through the point that's on the line. Okay? All right, questions on that construction? Okay. Guys, you don't have much time left. Let's just keep it down, please. Folks. All right, do we want, we want to see the parallel line construction again? The first one. Okay, let's do the first one one more time. Are we doing the very first one? The very first one. All right. First thing we're going to do is draw an angle. Any angle. And then we're going to copy this angle. So I set my points. Porter, go here, knock it off. I'm going to set my compass, it doesn't matter where, and draw an arc. Doesn't have to be a full circle, I'm just making an arc through here. And I'm going to bring my compass up here to where the dot is on my angle and make the same arc.
Now I bring the compass down to where the arc is crossing my angle. And I measure across the angle there to open it up exactly as far open as the angle. Take the point and set it on the arc where it crosses angle further up the further up there. And make that little arc. And where those connect, I'm going to draw a point. And then I draw my line through those two points. And there's my parallel line. Okay, sometimes it, if it doesn't look exactly parallel, as long as you do the construction correctly, you're okay. Because it can it can look turn it turn out looking a little little off. All right, we good there. All right, our homework. All right, there's our homework.